Hello. So, it's the end of 2021. It's been a busy year. A lot of uh, stuff's happened and I thought I'd do a sort of end of year video. Um, I know I haven't done a video for, <laughs> for a very long time and I know I haven't done uh, one on this channel for over a year. So um, I thought I'd just do an end of 21 video. So I'm going to start off with something that I, I got into this year. Um, I'm not going to name names but somebody has been a bad influence and it's arcade machines and um, I've got a few of them here. I'm going to go over them one by one and at the end, towards the end of the video, I'll go over all of the terrible fire stuff but I'll start off with the arcade machines and we'll move on from there, okay? So, um, this year, I went a bit mad. Um, I started off buying this guy. It was, it's a, it was a multi-game originally. Um, it's now got um, a, a Capcom CPS1 in it. Uh, and it's it's sorted. That that thing is absolutely sorted. It's uh, got a very go uh, gorgeous. I can't turn it on. I would I would need to. Will I turn it on? Why not? Since we're doing. So it's it's like a very heavy machine, but it's on rollers. So let's just turn it on. One of the mistakes I made. I had this room done done up nicely, but um, one of the mistakes I made this year was. When I had this room set out, I didn't put a master switch on the so get a master switch set on the sockets. I should have put a master brake. So I don't know if you can see this on the screen that well, but this is a absolutely gorgeous 20, I think it's a 29 inch CRT. Set up for Street Fighter 2. It works perfectly. There's a, actually I say it works perfectly. I think um, one of the controllers doesn't work with the kick harness. I need to fix that. It's 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 a five minute job, but to replace one thing. So this guy is pretty much sorted, as sorted as cabs ever are, as I'm learning. But um, let's get it back in place. I should have started the video with that on actually, but never mind. Um, and then after this guy, I got this multi kit, and this multi kit is. I, I think that people think they're, I think they're a bit passe in terms of, um, they're a bit passe in sort of the arcade community, but the reason I have it is for uh, my son, because he, he'll go, Daddy, Daddy, can I get this, have you got this game, have you got that game? They're all on there, so it's got a Pandora, uh, it's, 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 that's pretty sorted. Um, I put a, a new Pandora on that, but other than that, I haven't touched that, and that is one. That is the second heaviest of all these cabs, by the way, as we'll, we'll come to that. It's ah, such a heavy cab. That one is really nice. It's on, it's on uh, rollers. Like, um, I don't know, like they're, you could lock them in place if you want, but it rolls really easily. It's fantastic. Then we come to the Chase HQ. Um, this is an interesting beast. Um, it's got a bit of an issue, which I need to, to sort. So it came with uh, the board was pretty much duff. I've I've sorted the board, um, the sound, colours, um, a few other things were a bit horrible with it. The flasher lights are a bit intermittent. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, um, I was trying to get this guy off today, just to get a wee look in there. I had to I had to drill out. Classic. Love the game. Um, I had to drill out one of the nuts in here. I had to use an extractor. I don't think I've ever had to do that on anything except a car before. Um, that that uh, is out now. Um, the reason I take it, want to take this out is because, as you'll see, this has been cut along here, and I need to do something about that. So. Um, I might try and get the girl on our side at some point and suggestions about what to do here. There is a, there is something that sort of, there is a foot plate that comes with it, but it's kind of, it's a bit, it's a bit ghetto. So I would like to do something a bit better with what we've got here. Um, so suggestions, welcome in the comments. Other than that, she's sorted, there's no, there's no coin. It's all about who, I mean, for a per private collection, who cares? Um, yeah, so this is this one is pretty much sorted. Um, I could do the artwork, but honestly, it's in good enough condition. It's really good in good enough condition. 
So then recently, um, we had this simultaneous, almost the same day actually, this Continental Circus arrived and this Operation Wolf arrived. And the status of them are that neither of these work at the moment. Um, this one, uh, the Continental Circus, um, is in really bad condition. And But I think I want to try and get that one working first. This one, the screen works. I get raster, I get um, um, corrupted graphics from the board. So I've, I've, I've ripped the boards out, taken them both out, and I've cleaned them, and I'm gonna put them in a, in a harness, gonna make a harness for them in today, later on today. And uh, I think I'll do this, the Continental Circus first, then the Operation Wolf. I've, this one's 110 volts, and I really think this one, the monitor needs the full works, the flybacks, the capacitors, everything. It's just a wee bit hissy. Sometimes it's sulky about starting. So I'm gonna do the full service now. There is nothing more fun than opening and getting your hands into the drawers of a cab. Um, it's, it's, it, it really is a, a nice experience. So I've taken the control board out. Um, I'm gonna replace this guy. Sorry if it's a bit dark. I can't really get any more lighting on this at the moment. Um, this is all set up in a bit of a getaway. There's a transformer here that sort of does a raw 13 volt step down. I've got my EEV blog meter in here and I've been measuring stuff. So I'm gonna replace, as I said, I'm gonna replace the, the switching power supply, just put a new one in. There's no point in messing about with that. And then this is, this pile of ghetto wire here is all mains. Um, and I'll, and, and this, this board here. I'm gonna replace that with just a, like a mean well or some sort of off the shelf 13 volt, um, transformer um, and then I'll clean up the contacts and, and put this back in and I may take I'm thinking about taking this off and replacing it with ply and getting a new control panel in order to get a new control panel I would need to somehow get this what's on here to Ollie um, at uh, the arcade art guy um, Ollie arcade arcade art yeah um, I probably got that wrong, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's, that's that. Um, other than that, this, this machine looks in pretty good condition. The, um, superficially there's a few, the, 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 the plexiglass is broken, um, in a couple of spots here. I can tell you why that happens. It's because when the cab gets put down, back, back down on, after it's been uh, rolled, um, this just does this and it just will break this. So moving the cab would tend to do that. I'm torn between replacing that or just taking them off because in a small space like this, I mean, even though it's a fairly big room for a cab room in a house, um, it is oppressive. So I may take them off. Uh, I won't throw them away, but I may take them off. And there's just like, there's some superficial stuff to do. Like um, this, this needs redone, but I'll do the co cosmetics after I get the thing sorted, you know, electronically. Um, here at the back, oh, there's not very much light, but there's no back panel. Um, and the Opwolf, again, is just, I have never seen a cab. This is the heaviest one of all of, all of them. The Opwolf is just obscenely heavy. It is just, it, it, it was like moving, it was like moving a fridge freezer, like double fridge freezer, <laughs> an upright double fridge freezer, an American fridge or something, it was massive and heavy and I had to use this guy to do it. So yeah, so that's the state with the cabs. Um, I have a Space Invaders on the way from America. Um, God knows when that'll turn up. Um, and I've also had this, this room made specifically for arcade machines. It was originally coming for terrible fire stuff, uh, but I kind of got into cabs and then I thought this room just can be the cab room. Um, and I've got a garage through, through a, here I can wheel the cabs into the garage without leaving the house and I can work on them there and then I can bring them back in here when they're when they're when they're done. So there's a floor going down on here, a wood floor, and it'll go all the way out into the corridor at the bottom of the stairs and everything. So yeah. Right, so uh let's have a little chat about terrible fire because I haven't been talking about that for a while. So um 
as some of you may know, there was a, a TF1260 update and I have ported that onto the TF360. So for those of you who don't know, the TF1260 is a card for the A1200. It's an 060 card with up to 128 meg of RAM. Um, let's find some other music because I know there are at least one of you in the audience that would be rather offended by Pete and Diesel. <laughs> so, I mean, actually, let's play a game. Let's play Guardian. So, uh, what had been stopping me doing this up until now is that the CD drive wasn't working, and at, there was a point at which there was a point at which where I realised that unless it did what I needed to do for the twelve sixty first, I wasn't going to get the uh, the bit I wanted for for the th uh, 360. So the 360 is an old, I've got uh, an older version of it here. Let me bring it over, I'm gonna have a quick look at it. It's basically the same as the, it's basically the same as the, the 1260, but it's just in the form factor for the CD32. What was stopping me was that I, I had to do a lot of rework of the code in the firmware for it to work. Um, on for to get the CD to work and I had to do the fixes that I needed to do for the 1200 first so all in one all of those fixes are now ported over to the 360 look there we go we're getting the games to work so there we go I will, I will. will it work? Will it actually work? Will it? There you go. There you have it. Um, that's all done. Next in the queue, thing I'm going to start on soon, is this, um, is the TF4060. It is, it's not happy, if I'm honest, it's not happy. There's a lot of fixes that I've just done recently for, for the other two cards that will just slot in nicely into this, and we'll, we'll go with that. Um, the basis for the, the rewrite was the, the 4060 stuff because I'd started that and it got to a point with it and then I then I had to, then I moved house in case you hadn't noticed and um, yeah and I kind of lost uh, track of what I was doing with it at that point but yeah and there are a couple of games that by the way don't work on this I couldn't get sensible soccer European championship edition to work but it just locks up so I stick that in. It kind of hopefully nothing I play will get me copyright strikes. But I don't care anyway. <laughs> Why would I care? Why would I care about being copyright striked? Oh my god. It kind of does the music bit, but I never see anything after that. And then I'll, we'll have a quick look at the... <laughs> some, some other things that are coming on. Um, I think... I'll have a quick look at the 1260. And... So this is as far as it gets. It never does anything more than this. I don't know if this is because it's an 060 card, because this game doesn't like 060 or whatever. I just hit that. Did that do anything? It's like the screen isn't working. No idea. It sounds like the game's loaded, but... It It's almost like it's loaded the screen into fast mem or something. 
and it's yeah that, i mean to be honest that that to me sounds like what it, that's what it's done it's loaded the screen into fast mem and it's expecting us it's expecting the game to to be able to display things from fast mem so um yeah let's have a quick look at what we got here um it's my pile of amigas cd32s uh some i don't know it's just all of this stuff i end up end up I have been accused of hoarding, but it's really not hoarding. This this is this stuff I need for testing mostly. I mean, there's all these different A twelve hundred motherboards, and yeah, I get it. If you were really, really interested in buying a twelve hundred, and you you're really annoyed, there's one, two, three, four, five. All but two of these I've bought, and um, two of them belong to Goose. All but two of them I've bought. In fact, I'm gonna. Buy, pay, buy, pay, buy them off goose um, because I need them for testing all these different um, motherboards have different behaviors and the only way I can really you know when somebody says to me oh it doesn't work on my motherboard and I've got a motherboard I said well go buy another one I'll buy that one off you they go buy another one they get one that works I get a sometimes I get one with a, a defect in it that I have to fix um, that's happened a couple of times so yeah I, I have spent a lot of money on <laughs> on, on parts just to you know, for the for the compatibility testing. There's one of my CD32s. Um, we'll talk about this guy in my hand in a second. And so this is my, my new main lab. Um, some of you might recognize some of this from before, but uh, this is my mediator setup. I'm hoping to put that guy on the wall later today. I've kind of got this monitor set up down here, but hopefully this is still working. Yeah. So that's an, um, that's an ATI Bernati 9200 or something, TF1260, um, got a, um, a heater under there to keep me warm when it's freezing down here, I'm in a basement in here, so, and then you've got a sort of testing station one, testing station two, Solder station and through there where we were before where we were looking at the CD32 that's sort of testing station 3 hopefully Goose is going to sell me uh, another logic analyzer and I can get that set up there but yeah um, um, that's pretty much it so um, my plans are to probably finish off a little bit on this um, uh, 1260 from there's some little niggles bits and pieces to do um, I think through the channels that I've been selling, people have been selling this stuff before, the 360 will be out in the next um, next month or so. And then probably not too far after that, assuming it all goes well, this one will be out, the, the, the 4060. My plan is, the, this one is only 128 meg at the moment. Plan is to update it and add in 256. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, my own main, main, main issue at the moment was to try and make sure DMA worked from SCSI card on a 3000, which I will be testing. Um, and at that point, I have I don't see any need for me to make any more Amiga accelerators. Um, you know, I've, I've covered O30 on all of the, the lower platforms except the 1200, which is, sorry, except the 600, which is well catered for. I've covered all of the platforms on uh, you know, on the the thirty two bit platforms, I'll, I've covered all of those with an O sixty card, um, and you know, there's there's other cards available as well. So there's plenty of competition. There's plenty of choice. Um, as you all know, RTG doesn't. It's not my thing. I'm I'm not. I mean, I'll even go as far as saying I don't know how to do it. So, you know, and after that, after that's all done. I want to get into these arcades reproduce i've got a repro chip designed for the the, the jshq board that's one thing i want to do um i've got a continental circuit and it's the same chip as used on the continental circus so that's going to be great um so getting into sort of arcade reproduction stuff a bit and then um there's the the tfms 6 which I don't think I've talked about ever on the video. So that's a, an MSX machine. And it should, hopefully we can get this cost reduced right down, but um, 
I think this is, yeah, this isn't the main one. There's another one on the, there's another one to come. But yeah, get that going. That, that's got some bugs at the moment. There's some issues with it on Nemesis 1. I'm seeing some graphics corruption. So just, just trying to, to tune this bad boy in. We're on to revision one of this. Sorry, we're on to revision one of this. Um, it should run MSX2 games in the long run. Goal is to first get MSX1 up and running and absolutely rock solid. And then we'll work on MSX2. But, you know, with the TF1260, it's running at 100 megahertz. 60, 70 megabytes a second RAM bandwidth. You know, there's nowhere else to take. Um, there's nowhere else to take real chips anymore. That, that's it. They're maxed. Um, you know, we could tweak it and get 110, maybe, but that, that, that's, that's the end of the line. And I'm not interested in doing bus boards. I'm not interested in doing RTG. RTG is not really something for me that's that fun. We've got five, six megabytes a second from the hard disk controller. So, again, where are we going to go with it? Um, CD32, well, the, the, current, the version that's out, the version that some of you have... Um, it won't quite get 5.3 megabytes a second from the from the RAM controller, but there will be an updated Rev3 that will. Um, there could be a patch. I'll see if there's a way I can think of doing a patch for the Rev2s so they can get use the Rev3 firmware when it comes out. But you kind of get the idea. It's do you do you need 5.3 megabytes a second, or do you will you would you live with three? That's the question. So. And then I got a tower, tower D twelve hundred in there. Um, you know the things like the TF uh, five thirty in there. This, this, you know, that's sorted. It's done. It's almost like everybody who's got an O thirty Amiga. Um, everybody who wants an O thirty Amiga has got one. Um, you know, there's there's TF uh, three twelve thirties as well. Um, and I never. I never even made one of these guys. This is from Goose. Um, and hopefully at some point I will finish off this this riser so I can get my CD32 running upstairs with wireless and controllers, wireless keyboard, mouse and a controller. And at that point, my Amiga itches are all scratched. Everything I want from an Amiga is I ha will have. Um, so apologies if you were expecting me to be doing RTG cards or, you know, making the Amiga go even faster, but I'm really looking, was always looking to just optimize the 90s Amiga experience. Because for me, that's that's what I want. Um, the 90s Amiga experience was awesome for me. I love it, I love the games that are there. New software, I always support them. I mean, every time a game comes out, I, I bought Turbo Sprint, I bought, oh, I can't remember the name of the game, but I bought a, a bunch of these um, these new shooters that came out. And it's great, and they, and they are pretty true to the a real Amiga 90s experience, and that's why I like them, and that's why I will pay for them. But I'm not interested in running like modern modern games on the Amiga. There's no, there's nothing, you know. That's 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 producing a modern PC experience on on a retro computer. I'm not I'm not interested in that. I I'm interested in having. F the fun I used to have in the 90s now. So, yeah, I think that's all she wrote. And it'll probably be a while before you guys see another video from me. But, uh, yeah, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I mean, as a, I, I, I'll caveat all everything I've just said with if I can think of something that the, I think the community really needs, or somebody points out something that's really, you know, everybody's looking for that we don't have then I'll do it but I think we're good I think we got it um yeah I know I always do firmware updates if, if if needed so yeah thanks for watching um take care and have a good one